Research and innovation in Futuris. Safety on Europe's railways is under the spotlight. Just over 3,000 accidents were reported in 2009. 174 of them were caused by rolling stock in motion. At the same time, transport by rail continues to grow. By 2050, freight on Europe's railways is expected to increase by 80% and the number of passengers by over 50%. With that, of course, comes an increase in the associated risks. With the aim of improving thresholds, a European research project in Leuven, Belgium, is monitoring trains through an analysis of sound and vibration as the carriages travel along the rails. We installed uh, two or three sensors on the, on the rail. Uh, and we measure and identify each train and every single wheel on the train that passes our system is identified and is getting inspection. Uh, so we know uh, if there is a defect or a small. The system, based on high frequency vibration monitoring technology, is cheap and takes up very little space. The researchers also say it's highly accurate. Sensors capture the vibrations each time a train passes. Then a device reads the data and transmits it to a central server. By analyzing the waves generated by each single wheel of the train, researchers are able to detect misshaped or broken wheels. 24 hours by 24, we collect all the vibration data. And what you will see here is that for every train that passes, you have a peak. We measure the peak acceleration and already there you can see that if uh, peak is out of normal, uh, something is happening strangely. From Leuven to Warsaw, the Polish capital, where another European research project is using ultrasound and digital scanning to analyse the physical state of the tramway tracks in the city. New, non-invasive inspections make it possible to continually monitor the state of the materials. A high-frequency accelerometer analyzes the vibrations of the metal and, without any excavation, can determine if there are critical points due to the corrosion on the bottom of the track. Visual scanners also examine the surface of the rails. What we have here is a high-speed line scan camera. Uh, it's capable of uh, a line speed of uh, about 36 kilohertz, which will give you an acquisition speed of about 40 kilometers per hour. The lighting itself is bespoke and is key for the image analysis. Now, th the idea being that you get a very uniform image type, so you don't have to do histogram equalization. Integrating digital technology research into railway maintenance cuts costs and increases the reliability threshold of the system. As a consequence, transport services have to be interrupted less often and we have a much more accurate knowledge of the condition of the rail networks. Railways are a very complex system. With this project, we've made significant progress, studying most parts of the various components. What we're aiming for now is an integrated tool. We analyse everything by capturing just one set of data. They may be very complex systems, but data can be generated on a very small scale, as researchers are doing in Portugal. In Lisbon, each train on the line to Cascais is identified and tracked with what's called an RF system. An acoustic sensor on the track captures the noise produced by each single wheel. By measuring the data, researchers can tell if the train has any faults or not. Actually, we are using uh, acoustic emission transducers, which are coupled on uh, the line. And uh, when the train is approaching, we have a suitable uh, tune device based on uh, ultrasonics that uh, senses the train that is coming and then uh, sets uh, the uh, data acquisition boards uh, for triggering. 
Each train is tracked and the same information is gathered from all its components. This data is once again uploaded to a central server and that makes it possible to obtain at any given moment a complete picture of each single element of the rolling stock and also the overall physical state of the trains. It's like I have an agent on board each train, which can help me diagnose any problems. If I have an early warning system for any potential problems that disrupt the circulation of the trains, then that's very useful for me, because I can take the information into account and build it into my scheduled maintenance plans. Now let's leave Lisbon and go back to Belgium. In Antwerp, the system developed in Leuven has been adopted by the consortium that's going to build a new tramway line and operate it for the next 30 years. As well as being safe, the networks have to be competitive, especially in a Europe where budgets are shrinking rapidly. Here the advantage of predictive maintenance can lead to significant savings. Before this system was, was installed, the, the trams were every two or three months or every period, they had to come in to check visually if there was a problem with the tram or, uh, or not. So with this system you can, the, the human uh, falls by not seeing it, you can, uh, yeah, you can replace them by the, by the system. You get a more accurate uh, answer on uh, the problem with the tram. On railway networks in Europe, scientific research isn't going to stop here. It's highly probable that technical innovation will lead to more sophisticated early warning systems for severe faults, leading to a more in-depth knowledge and making it less expensive to improve safety standards. The systems that we have developed are uh, based on open architecture, so they can, be, they can be interfaced with existing systems that are already available uh, uh, on the rail network. Uh, but uh, the advantage of the technologies we have developed is are that uh, uh, they are low cost and they require minimum intervention to be uh, installed on the network. It's likely that in the future, through deeper research and improved technology, the transport systems of Europe will be much safer than today.